Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather, if you've never seen me before, and I'm wearing a pickle shirt. Mm -hmm. I got it on Etsy. I will link it down below. If you know me, this is the most appropriate shirt that I've ever owned in my entire life. Today, we're going to talk about my favorites. I don't know the last time I did a favorites video, but I have a lot of favorites. So let's talk. I'm going to start with body and then we'll move into makeup. So yeah. I guess we will start with something random, but this body wash smells so good. Um, it's the Dove Pampering Shea Butter and Vanilla. Every time I use it, I like when I get out of the shower, I still smell like I bathed in a warm vanilla hug. Every time my fiance uses this and he gets out of the shower and like gets into bed or like comes near me, I'm like, wow, you smell really good. I really like vanilla scents, so... Like, I, if they have lotion, I'm going to buy the lotion because it just smells so good. Um, so, speaking of lotion, this, this is the Tropic Glow Firming Whipped Shea Butter. This is by the brand Tree Hut. Now, I heard that this was a dupe for the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, which is just like a very tropical um, scent, which I love it. I do. It's like very warm, nutty. I think pistachio is something that is like a big note in it. And I think that's what like sets it apart because I don't have anything else that smells like pistachio. Wow. Does this smell good? Wow. I love this stuff. I can't, I, if you want to smell like a tropical vacation, this is definitely it. I definitely recommend it. And it's, it's thick. It's very thick, but I like thick. Um, it's a little greasy. I will say that, but I don't mind it because it dries down and it smells really good. And then you smell like good all like I normally take a shower at night. And then when I pair those two together, oh, it's so good. Like I wake up in the middle of the night and like, I smell so good. So Okay, so speaking of smell good, these best in scent boosters I've ever smelled and they last on your clothing. Um, these are better than the other, the downy, no not downy. What are the ones in the black container with the like greenish? This is better and it lasts longer. So it's a clean scent, it's very clean. I like my clothes to smell clean and I like to smell edible. Like, that's, that's what I like to smell like. Um, so st sticking with the smell good stuff. This is the Good Chemistry Queen Bee Body Mist. This I got at Target. Oh my god. This smells clean. This is like one of the only clean fragrances that doesn't smell like soap. Like, the Maison Margiela Bubble Bath, it just smells like soap. This, oh my god, this is like floral soap. And my fiance, every time I wear this, like on top of me. He loves this stuff. Oh my god, it smells really good. So, and this isn't expensive. I got this at Target for I don't even know how much. So, let's keep going. So I picked up the I Don't Need a Princess by my I Don't Need a Prince by my side to be a princess by Killian. This, however, this is like caramel, vanilla. This reminds me of like when you walk into Cold Stone and you get that like waffle cone ice cream smell. Oh my god, I love this one. Like, mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. Let's move on to skincare. So, my skincare routine is important to me. I take a lot of care in taking care of my skin. I take a lot of pride in taking care of my skin, I should say. I love skincare. Um, so this hyaluronic acid is good. It's real. I went through almost the entire bottle probably in a month. It's thick. It's very thick. There's not a lot in here, but I would totally repurchase this. I don't want to waste it though, but like, look at that. It's really moisturizing. I use this in the daytime. 
um, because I use the snail, the Cosrx snail mucin at night, because that's even thicker than this. So this is like a good daytime hyaluronic acid for me. I really enjoy this. Um, I will be repurchasing another one. And then, so at night, again, speaking of thick, again, I like very rich uh, moisturizers because I have such dry skin. So I have the, I tried this as a sample. This is the Biosan Squalene Omega Repair Cream. <sighs> I want to bathe my body in this. It smells though. I will say that. I don't know what it's like. Oh, it stinks. I don't like the smell of it. It's whatever squalene I think is, it stinks. But it's very, it's really moisturizing. And especially like after I exfoliate or I use like a heavy retinol, this stuff is really, really good to my skin. I use this every single night. There's like not a lot left. I might have to bite the bullet and actually pick up another one of these because I love this stuff. Speaking of very rich and thick, uh, this, I'm sure you've seen, if you watch TikTok, you've probably heard about this. This is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm. This is, I don't even know, I saw somebody describe this as diaper cream, like the way how thick this is, which, I mean, I don't have a kid and I don't know the last time that I came in contact with diaper cream, but like it's thick. So I, this is my final step in my skincare routine at night um, because it's so reparative. Like if I over exfoliate or if I over like use chemicals on my face, like retinol or anything like that, um, this does a good job of in the morning just like repairing my skin barrier. I use this every night. Um, it took me forever to find this. I randomly stalked my Target's website and they said that there was one in stock. And I got it and I'm so happy I did. If you can get your hands on this, definitely do it. Because, wow. I have noticed such a difference in my skin since using this. So, yes. That's for skincare. I'm pretty much done. I'm going to talk about this Lash Serum. This is the Lily Lash Serum. I think the last time that I... I don't know if I've ever put this in my favorites. Guys guys show you a before and after photo i'll insert them but i'm uh, you know you can pull it up on my phone too i have noticed such a difference with my eyelashes i have like a little uh folder hang on i have a lashes folder so these were my lashes pretty good pretty normal and this photo was taken this morning do you see the difference? Like, ready? Before and after. You can't tell me you don't see a difference in my lashes. I, pff, amazed. I don't even have lashes on today. I love this lash serum. So it's, I think it's coming to the end. I did pick up another, a different brand, so I'll see. But yeah. Speaking of lashes, um, these are Dell 113 Wispies. If you like just a very natural, like, wispy lash, this is my second box of these, so I recommend those a lot. I guess we're going to move from eyes over, because that's the order that I'm moving in. Um, I only used this eyeshadow palette, I think was probably my last favorite eyeshadow palette, but this is the Pat McGrath Utopian. Anytime I need like a very sparkly, purpley, because that's the kind of look that I normally like, it's this, 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 just, just this. Just look at this. Actually, my friend came, Raquel, and she saw me put this on and then she used it because that's how much she liked it. So, just, just those shimmers alone. Look at that. Every time I put this on. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. It's expensive though. That's that's a splurge item. Um, let's keep going. I'm gonna talk about mascara. Uh, this MAC extended is this the extended? Oh, this is the Extreme Dimension 3D Black. I really like this mascara. It was a freebie that I got and I never used it, and I just randomly picked it up. 
and I haven't put it down. I just really enjoy the brush on here and the formula is very good too. It separates a lot, which I like. Random, a heated eyelash curler. I saw this on, is this warming up? Yeah, I saw this on Amazon and I was like, I'm gonna try a heated eyelash curler. That sounds amazing. <laughs> And it is. I really like it. So you just like heat it up for 30 seconds and then push your lashes up with it. Look how pretty your lashes look. I like this because if like I put too much mascara on, it kind of like warms it so I can bring it to the top. Um, this is not a necessity at all, but I just have been using it a lot because I've just been wearing, like on quick days, I've just been wearing mascara because I'm so proud of how long my eyelashes are from the serum. So, um, I just, you actually like curl them after you put mascara on. I just, I don't know, it's random, but I use it a lot. Okay, let's talk about one of my other favorite things, lipsticks and lip liners. <laughs> If you know, if you watched any of my videos recently, my obsession with nudes is sad. It's excessive. Why? I just really love a beautiful nude. And there's different types of nudes. Like, you can have a pink nude, you can have a, a brown nude, you know. <sighs> okay, but it's normal. It's normal. A lot of people like nudes. Don't, don't think it's weird. Well, I mean, you can think it's weird. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I'm going to talk about lip liners first because I just really like lip liners. I'll link everything I can down below for you guys. Let's start with this guy. I've had him for a little while. I'm wearing it today. And this is the Natural Mauve by Lancome. This is just a really good, more pink, I would say lip liner the formula is really good on this and the color is like my lips almost exactly which is why i really like this and i reach for this a ton i really like look at i've used so much of her she used to be so big okay and then charlotte tilbury pillow talk is just a classic pink nude this is a softer formula this is definitely more pink than the lancome one but uh, this is just, there's a reason that Pillow Talk, this color, and there's so many dupes, um, but it, there's a reason that it's so popular, but it's definitely more on the pink side. If you don't like a pink, um, you may not like this, but it's just really good and like topped with the perfect nude lip gloss. Okay. So then I'm going to go towards, I'll stay with the pinks. This one took me by surprise. This is the Rare Beauty... Uh, kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade Worthy. So this is a retractable lip liner and it comes with a sharpener. Thank you, Rare Beauty. Um, and last but not least, the Anywhere Caffeine by Makeup Forever. Hailey Bieber made this insanely popular and I know why. Anytime I wear this lip liner, I love my lips, love my lips. And this paired with Pillow Talk, this is definitely on the more brown side, but I'm gonna show you the lipsticks that I wear it with and like blend it out. My lips just always look so pretty with these lip liners. I just, these are my, the four like top ones that I've been using lately. So yeah, those are, those are some hits. Um, all right, let's move to lipsticks and then we'll move to lip glosses. Um, some of these have been favorites in the past. So to go along with that Rare Beauty lip liner, I have the matching lipstick in the color Worthy. This is my favorite packaging ever. So again, this is Worthy matte lipstick. So because this is matte, I do always top it with a gloss because you know, I prefer a shiny gloss, but you see how that's like the perfect mixture of a pink and a brown. So that's worthy. And then I have the color Ferris Nude by L'Oreal. This is like, is this a sheen? This is the color Riche line. I think there's a little bit of a sheen to this. It's almost like a lip gloss, lipstick hybrid. I really like this. 
And this is super inexpensive. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with drugstore. This is number 45 by Rimmel. I found this on Amazon and Rimmel's super inexpensive too. These are all gonna look very, very similar, but slightly different to me. <laughs> this is just slightly darker, but again, sheen. And then this is Merit lipstick in the color Baby. Can you, I don't know if you can see. This is also one of my favorite pack packaging next to Rare Beauty. I really like this one. Look how this formula is so smooth. Look at that. So that's Merit. This is 45. This is L'Oreal Ferris Nude, and that is Worthy. So all kind of similar, but not, not the same. So, sticking with lips, let's go to lip glosses. Um, these, two of these are the same ones that I've used for a while and I talk about all the time. So, that's going to be Makeup by Mario in Mauve. I think it's, what is it called? Mauve Nude. I wanted to say Mauve Pink. This just makes any lip combination that I put on perfect because it leans more pink so if it's if my lip is too brown it makes it pink enough if it's um I'm wearing a pink lip this just enhances it and it has like these tiny itty bitty micro glitters in them and it just every time I wear this gloss I freaking love it next up is the ever so popular maracuja juicy lip plump in the color white peach these are just the juiciest creamiest lip products that i've ever used this is a dupe for this is the same exact thing as the makeup by mario bear glow so if you have one you don't need the other but I use both of these all the time. I've been reaching for the Tarte one more because it smells like peppermints. If you want like just a juicy, juicy lip. That's, so this is Mario, Makeup by Mario, and this is White Peach. So this is a little bit more sheer. Should I put some on? Maybe I'll put some on. So pretty, it's just so juicy. That's the, like, that's the only thing that comes to my mind with this is juicy. Just so juicy. So delicious and juicy. Um, last lip gloss before we move on is the, this is Milky Gloss by NYX. And this is in the color Cookies and Milk. This is brown. This is just, like, a brown nude. It's a, a cool brown nude, though. Not warm. I wore this when... I went out with my friends and I just, the pictures that I'm wearing this in, love it. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to bronzer. This bronzer, Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade two medium. Oh, so pretty. Just so easy. So smooth, this powder. Um, and I never look orange. It's like the perfect neutral bronzer because I don't I'm cool toned and I don't I like cool toned things on me I don't like very like red bronzers so I like that blush good old covergirl true blunt <laughs> this is in 320 love I use this all the time all the time the colors like covergirl's been rubbed off it's just the perfect pink blush like flush I, re I just really enjoy that one. I've been trying to, I recently picked up some new blushes. Um, you'll see that haul. I'll link it down below. Um, so I'm excited to play with those because I feel like I use the same blush all the time. So yes. So we'll do our, oh, you know what? I, I went out of order. I'm sorry. I have more eye stuff, guys. Um, first is eyeshadow primer by Juvia's Place. Anytime I use this, my eyeshadow just... It never patches and it stays and it helps me with really pigmented colors that stain my eyes. So like a pur I used a purple recently and purple tends to stain my eyes really pink. But this helped a lot. My eyes were not as pink as they 
usually get stained. So I wanted to give that a fair mention. Okay, so let's talk about glitter shadow or glitter toppers, I guess you could say. Um, these two are amazing. You do not need both though. So my thing is, I will sometimes just run bronzer through like my eye and on my eyelid and press some glitter topper on top because I just, and it's like a hint of something where it's like, oh, what's she wearing? Oh, what you got on your eyes, girl? That's what I like. And that's what this is. It's just like, so, so like just a flash. Like you can't tell, oh, what's she wearing? You don't know. And then if you like blend it out, like, look at that. Oh, what's she wearing? You don't know. Oh, she's wearing something. It catches your eye. Like, all over the lid. This is gorgeous. I really, really like this. And then, this is a more intense version of that. This is the Makeup Forever Diamond Powder. Oh, this is Starlit Diamond Powder. Number 101. This is really pretty. I couldn't get this either. This was sold out for a really long time. But this is definitely, these are more, these are smaller glitter flakes, I believe. And look at this. You see the difference? So this is the Mario one. That's in quartz. And this is the Makeup Forever one. So I'll blend out the Makeup Forever one. Just look at that. I wonder if I put the light on if you guys. Yeah, you see that? Just, it catches the light so beautifully. I really, really enjoy these. I put these on for like everything, basically. Especially, like if I'm wearing an eye, like if I just am a simple look. Like this, I would put that on this look. But this shadow is a new shadow. So I didn't want to top it with anything. I just wanted to see how it looked on its own. But like, it took every fiber in my being to not put glitter on my eyelid. Because I love a glitter topper. Which is why I'm going to segue into the most beautiful glitter shadow that I've ever used. I should say cream glitter shadow that I've ever used. Period. The end. Um, this, let me shout this girl out because her name is Jenny. This is, this is her TikTok. Guys, it's time. It's a four holiday city. This is her TikTok. She recommended this color. This is the Moira shadow, uh, cream shadow in eye contact number 05. I love this. If I could bathe in this, like, are you ready? Look, look at this. Look at this. Just please take a moment. Take that in. Cause and it's like, eight dollars i don't I, I don't even have words you don't need words you just need sight you just need vision that's all you need okay that's 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 all for eyes so for primer i've been on this these two a lot i've been reaching for these quite a bit this is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Vase. I got this on Amazon. This is the best pore filling one that I've used and I still reach for it. I think because of the consistency, it's like a thick mousse. It's not a cream, it's not like super liquidy creamy, um, but like I feel like I can like, because of the consistency, it like sticks in my pores. So I like this a lot and I will have to get another one pretty soon and then this say gel what is this the gel highlighter gel illuminizer does it not have a sticker anymore it's the say gel highlight um i enjoy glowiness and dewiness because looking like a piece of tin foil is something that i really enjoy so i've been between quite a few luminous primers it's just this one is like my tried and like my tried and true like always just beautiful one two i forgot to mention that one god damn it <laughs> you know i don't always wear it on camera but whenever i do my makeup and like 
go out, this is the primer that I'm reaching for, always. I'm going to talk foundation. This should come as no surprise. I've used it in, like, I think the past two or three videos, and I'm using this almost every time I do my makeup. Every time I do my makeup, probably in the last two weeks. This is the House Labs Tri-Clone foundation. I really like this foundation. I think it's because it's it comes off a little bit dewy, but it looks like skin. Like anytime I put this on, you can tell you're wearing foundation. You're never going to not be able to tell you're wearing foundation. But it looks the most natural to me. And that's why I really like this. Um, and it just, you don't need a lot. It blends really easily. It's like medium coverage. It's not full coverage, which again, I think is why it looks so natural. I can't say enough good things about this foundation. And I really, if you have the chance to even pick up a sample, cause this is expensive, I would definitely pick up the sample and then you can like save or ask for it for Christmas if you like. I just, I was blown away by this foundation. And to go along with that, the powder, the powder. I don't know what sorcery she used to create these two products, but they make your skin look so good. So good. So I use this with other foundations. I use this with um, one other foundation, but, and it was, it still looked really good. But other than that, I always use it with the House Labs foundation, but I can't sing this this little birdie's praise is high enough. I just really enjoy this powder. It doesn't sit on your skin. It, like everything blends into your skin. It just makes it so buttery and creamy. It looks really good. Um, under eye powder, this little guy, Pat McGrath. It's like the softest powder. It's almost like silk and I think that's why I like it under my eyes because it's so finely thinly milled that you can't tell that it's under your eyes at all I really enjoy this Charlotte Tilbury face setting spray airbrush face setting spray this stuff's just really friggin good it smells good it sets my makeup good and makes it last all day I just highly recommend this one I really like it so that is everything guys that's all my favorites that's all that I have for you um let me know what your favorites are down below or if there's something that you want me to try because I will happily try it you know I am your makeup big sister and I'll be happy to try stuff for you uh thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below. I will get back to you within 24 business hours and subscribe to my channel so that you know when I upload future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!